we're going to do a simple, really simple fit of some data. The easiest thing that we could do. To start off with, we're going to open a data set. And this data set was recorded a while ago, so the background is very high. Uh, so you can see after loading the data set, it's visible in the data tree. If I expand the data tree, we can see that there's a, a, a model generated. First thing that we do is I'm going to rename this layer SiO2 because it's a native oxide layer. I'm going to make the scattering density of the fronting medium 2.07. That's because the fronting medium in this case is silicon. I'm going to make the backing medium 6.36, i.e. D2O. Um, I'm going to hide that theoretical model. I'm going to make the background 2 times 10 to the minus 5. The next thing that I'm going to do is add in another layer after the silicon dioxide. So I select the silicon dioxide layer, click on plus. I'm, I'm going to add a slab. This slab now appears after the silicon dioxide. I'm going to rename it polymer. I'm going to say that this polymer layer is 200 angstroms thick. And has a scattering length density of 1 times 10 to the minus 6. If I select the thickness again, I can use the slider to adjust its, uh, to vary its thickness. I'm then going to select the parameters I want to vary during the fit. That one. So the scale factor, the background, the polymer thickness, the polymer SLD, the roughness, um, probably the silicon dioxide thickness will allow to vary and it may allow the backing roughness to vary so that's the roughness between the D2O and the polymer layer. I'm going to drag this data set across over here. Over here is listed all the data sets that are going to be fitted when we press go. Now what we need to do is set the lower and the upper bounds for the fit so a quick and easy way of doing that is click on auto adjust limits and it's set up default limits for the lower and upper bounds for the parameters we're fitting. We then press go and it's doing the fit. The fit is finished. By default it uses differential evolution for the fit but you can use a wide range of minimizers. Uh, use Markov Chain Monte Carlo if you want to estimate the parameter uncertainties accurately. Anyway, once the fit is finished, we see values in this column here which represent the, uh, uh, the parameter uncertainties. So the thickness of the polymer layer is 212 plus or minus 0.3. If we go into the console as well, you'll see that reported as well. You get a, uh, a printout of the structure. So. Here's the polymer layer, its thickness is 212 plus or minus 0.3. Um, you can then export the data or save the figure as say like uh, SVG or PNG or so on. You can change the, uh, the colour of the graphics. For example by choosing um, changing A color with a color picker, so we've now made it red. Um, we can save the model, export parameters, save the fit curve, so the fit curve would be uh, this blue line here, and so on. And that's basically a quick uh, demonstration of how to fit data, the simplest kind of thing that you could fit.